Hi guys, my name's Emma aka Flares and today you join me on a rainy day on Laurel. I'm going to be talking about flowers today. As you guys know, I love flowers. I love to decorate with them and they're just so beautiful. If I could just have an island filled with flowers, I would be happy, but I don't think that would look great. So today I'm going to give you some of my top tips on how to get some more flowers quickly, how to get a particular type quickly, and then once you have loads and loads of flowers on your island, how to control them. Some of this stuff you may know, some of it you may not, but I'm just really here to try and give you my knowledge and try and share it with you guys. So hopefully it's helpful and we can all enjoy the beautiful flowers that we have on Animal Crossing. So let's get started. So for the first segment of this video, I just wanted to mention about watering your flowers and how to get the production rate up. Some of you will probably know this, but just merely watering your flowers alone, you won't get a high chance of them replicating the next day. What you need to do is get some visitors, so they need to be players from other islands to come and water your flowers. The more people that water your flowers, therefore the percentage chance of them replicating or being produced the following day will be much much higher so if you had five people come and water all your flowers then your chances of getting that flower the next day to reproduce will be really really high so that's kind of what you want to happen obviously we don't all have friends who play the game but there are kind of maybe you could start like a gardening party or something like that to kind of get people to come and visit your island. It won't work if you just go and create another account on your Switch. They must be from a different island in order for it to count. So there's no point wasting your time trying to create multiple accounts just to get those green mums that you want. It won't work unfortunately. So for my next tip I'm going to be talking about cloning flowers. This is not like breeding. Breeding flowers is when you're trying to make a hybrid cloning simply means we're trying to get the same type of flower to reproduce again so if you're like me and you like to use certain types of flowers certain colors of flowers on your island then this model could be a really great way for you to do that the number one rule for doing this is you must not have two flowers of the same type together as this will cause them to breed and may cause a different flower to produce which you don't want. So for example if we put two white roses together then the chances of us getting a purple rose would be significantly higher and that's what we don't want. So what you need to do is set up an area like this. So what I've done is I've put a white cosmos, a blue rose, another white cosmos and then another blue rose and then I've got some pansies and hyacinths on the other side. So as you can see none of the same types of species are touching so the chances of them breeding is very very low. Well it's impossible <laughs> so um, what should happen hopefully tomorrow after they've been watered sufficiently is we should get another white cosmos, another blue rose, another blue pansy, another blue hyacinth. If not, it's just kind of up the chances of this happening and hopefully if you're after a particular type of flower, this will make it just a, that little bit quicker for you and you'll get all the flowers you want in no time. It's just a bit more foolproof than just leaving your flowers in a giant clump like this and just hoping that you get the same colour again tomorrow. So I hope that helps guys and maybe you'll get lots of flowers surrounding your island soon. So now that you've had your friends over and you've used the model for cloning some flowers, hopefully you've got loads of flowers all over your island and now you're struggling what to do with them. So these are kind of my main storage tips, keeping them under control once you have lots of flowers on your island. My number one kind of tip is storing your flowers on your 
beaches. If you've not decorated your beaches then it's a great place to store some flowers because they will stunt so it will hold the current growth state as you can see here. I've put some seeds down, not only do they look great as decoration on the beach but um, they're also a good place to kind of store them and they won't spread so if you don't want any more flowers for now we just leave them on the beach and then when we do decide that we want to clone or breed some we can just pick them up and put them back on the dirt and then they will unstun and we will hopefully get some more flowers the next day for my next tip I'm going to answer your problem if you are tired of this happening so this flower has replicated in a place where I didn't want it to and I get really bored of running around my island trying to find those flowers which have sprung in places where you didn't want them to be. So my number one tip for this is to use a custom design and just display it on the ground. So this is a transparent custom design. You can't see it, so it doesn't affect any of your aesthetics on your island, the way your island looks. You don't have to think about just filling it everywhere with designs or furniture, which just definitely isn't practical. Having this transparent custom design is just such an easy tool just to make sure that your flowers stay where you want them to be and they don't spread. If you've designed an area and you want it to stay that particular way, because I know it gets really, really tiresome running around your island having to pick up all those flowers that have sprung it overnight. So in order to get the design, all you have to do is really, really simple. I'll just erase this. And then we can just, I'll show you how to do it. You just go into your custom design, select the tool, the eraser tool. Sorry, not the eraser tool, the pen tool. And then just go down to the largest one and then along the top, just click the transparent thing. And then all you have to do is just wipe away. I'm just thinking now would the bucket be actually there you go, you just have to fill the screen. Um, I don't know why I make life hard for myself sometimes. But yeah, just fill the screen any way that you want and make it transparent and then save it. I'm just gonna call it T, there we go. And there is our transparent design. So you don't have to worry about finding a custom design code for this, you can just do it yourself. There's no artwork involved, you don't have to worry about that. But it just makes life a lot easier for you and definitely helps keep your island well maintained. Next up I'm going to talk about all those hybrids that you've gone to the effort to make and you went through all that breeding, it was a lot of work and Although you have no intention of using on them on your island, you just can't get rid of them. This is kind of my collection where I've been like, oh, I don't want to get rid of them. I spent ages doing this. So what I've kind of come to do is keep hold of some, one of each. They have kind of spread a bit um, now because these were all hidden by cliffs. Um, I find that cliffs are a great way to hide a multitude of sins. So what I like to do is, I'm just gonna find a cliff now just to show you guys. I don't have many left on my island because I flattened it all. But anyway, hiding them behind cliffs kind of keeps them out of sight. And then when you do decide, or oh, maybe I do want a pink um, lily, or maybe I do want a purple pansy, you can just kind of go grab them and then you can breathe them again and it's so much quicker. As you can see, you can't see anything. Not really, <laughs> anyway. But I think it's just a great place to hide them and keep them on your island just for that time when you may want to use them again and you don't have to worry about it. Please excuse all my custom designs. I had a lot of fun <laughs> destroying my island. So they are everywhere at the minute. Um, and I can't even get up there to destroy them because I don't have a ladder. But anyway, on to the next tip. So for my final tip is do not sell your flowers. Do not waste your time going into Nook's Cranny to sell your flowers. 
because there's loading screens, you have to go through all the chat and speak to Timmy and Tommy, which is nice as it is. For 80 bells to go through all that time, is it really worth it? In my opinion, it's not. The best way to do, if you're tidying up your island, the best thing to do is to grab a garbage bin, a rattan waste bin, whatever kind of bin you like. And when it's time to get rid of your flowers, just dispose of them in the rubbish bag. I assure you, going to Timmy and Tommy for that 200 bells that he's going to give you for like a full inventory worth of flowers is not worth it. If you're trying to clean your island up quickly and you get a bit tired of doing it, just have this bin next to you. It's so much quicker, I can assure you. So guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. I hope you found these helpful. From me and my lovely flower of blue, my lovely flower, my lovely field of blue and white flowers. I hope you have a lovely day. And if you're not already subscribed, please remember to click the subscribe button and the like button if you've found the video helpful. And hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.